might recognize this one from your magnetism from last year, but it's a little bit more, it's a little less complex. Instead of having to build the towers and put across the popsicle sticks and hang the paper clips and hang all the washers on it, we're getting the same idea with helping kids figure out, I guess the question is, how do they measure how magnets affect strength? And strength is not a measurement, so you need to work with the kids to identify what variable are we going to use, what can we actually use and measure. So you need to work with them to identify how can we measure the strength of a magnet and kind of lead them to the discussion with, well, by how much it picks up possibly. And then you can start getting into the special variables of, we're looking at paper clips. Now these are not in your kit, the little paper clips, you need to have these in your building. What happened was they just didn't get packed. There was some sort of confusion with the packing of the paper clips. And you have those red ones, which, which are insulated and don't, will not work. So we're going to, uh, Tom right now is looking at getting these shipped out to you all. But the idea is the same thing. There's a picture on page one, you probably saw page 159, that kind of leads through what the kids are going to do. So in that engage session, you need to first help them set up what are variables, what are we going to look for, what are we going to measure. Help them design it themselves. The first part, paper clips, boxes, paper clips we measure, is when you put them down here, it does work. So there's a group. You're going to need a pretty large group of these. And have, ask the kids for control variables. Do so they just go down like this and put it down? or should they hold it down, one, two, three, and then pick it up for a control variable? And then they count them for the dependent variable. Then you just drop in a second one. And it should, same control variables, pick it up. I'm hoping this is easier to work with than what you worked with before. Hopefully a lot. And if it gets the same idea across, and you should see an increase. <laughs> the focus of this lesson now, instead of managing all those different materials, is identifying the variables. What are we going to keep the same? What are we measuring? What are we changing? And focusing the children's observations on things they can count. Hold it down for three seconds, then pick it up slowly. Um, what do you mean pick it up slowly? You know, pick it up, be very specific, pick it up so that it's no longer touching the ground. All of these things to get kids thinking about how do they control the investigation. The data they can put together, and this is something that has been designed for you. It's another spreadsheet. But this one is one where if you type in words, it will automatically map it out for you. The extend can be a center. If you look at the extend point, <coughs> don't use the pointy end. Put that into play. Rob really liked this when he first saw it. Oh, this is great. But you have the one where you are adding magnets to see if it picks up more, but well, what if you add magnets this way and see if it repels them more? See if that so you have two magnets down there and it repels that much to see if the repelling force increases in strength just like the attraction force. And then they can do an enrichment project and looking at maglev trains and how they work. It's just the idea of a magnet is spinning and it pulls the train and then repels the train.